ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂಬರಧರಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಶಿವರ್ಣಂ ಚತುರ್ಭುಜ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ವದನ ಧ್ಯಾತ ಸರ್ವಿಘ್ನೋಪಶಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ನೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಫಾರ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಏಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ವರ್ಸ್ ಸಮಾವರ್ತೋ ನಿವೃತ್ತಾತ್ಮ ದುರ್ಜಯೋ ದುರತಿಕ್ರಮ ದುರ್ಲಭೋ ದುರ್ಗಮೋ ದುರ್ಗೋ ದುರಾವಾಸೋ ದುರಾರಿಹ ದ ನಾಮಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಾವರ್ತ ಅನಿವೃತ್ತಾತ್ಮ ದುರ್ಜಯ ದುರತಿಕ್ರಮ ದುರ್ಲಭ ದುರ್ಗಮ ದುರ್ಗ ದುರಾವಾಸ ದುರಾರಿಹ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ನೈನ್ ನಾಮಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಮ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಾವರ್ತ ಸಂಸಾರ ಚಕ್ರ ಸಮ್ಯ ಆವರ್ತಕ ಸಮಾವರ್ತ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ದ ವೀಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಗೋ ರೌಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಸಮಾವರ್ತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೀಸ್ ದ ಸಮಾವರ್ತ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಆವರ್ತಕ ಸಮಾವರ್ತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆವರ್ತಕ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋ ರೌಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ so what does he make bhagavan narayan what does he make the make go round well samsara chakra the wheel of samsara so the uh, activities of birth death the uh, creation sustenance and annihilation so this symbolizes or this is symbolized by the terminology samsara chakra the one who makes this wheel go round and round well systematically without any lacks so he is samavartaha the next nama is anivrittaatma <clears throat> sarvatra vartamanatvat na nivrittaha aatma kutopi ti anivrittaatma as he is everywhere the one whose form is not withdrawn from anywhere so this nama anivrittaatma has two interpretations the first interpretation we are now seeing so anivritta aatma anivritta refers to not withdrawn aatma the form so the one whose form or who himself has not withdrawn from anywhere else so he is anivrittaatma vai sarvatra vartamanatva so there is no place in the entire creation where the paramatman is not there from nowhere has the existence of paramatman bhagavan narayana is withdrawn he is all pervasive sarvavyapakah so that is indicated by the first interpretation the second interpretation nivrittaha atma manaha asya vishayebhya iti va nivritta atma so going by the grammatical rules there is a possibility that samavarto nivritta atma can be split in two manners samavartaha anivritta atma and samavartaha nivritta atma so the former possibility has been explained indicating the sarvavyapakatva of bhagavan anivrittaatma here the second possibility second grammatical possibility so based on that the second interpretation has been given by acharya nivrittaha aatma manaha asya so aatma here refers to manas so in in uh, in many uh, contexts in various texts like bhagavad gita the word manaha is used uh, the is indicated by the term atma so the one who has withdrawn his mind from the objects of the senses so atma is manas and nivritta means withdrawn 
so the one who has withdrawn from the objects of the senses so the one who is established in his pure conscious nature he is not drawn out into the objects of the senses and thereby he is not under the sway of the world outside rather he is established in his pure form and hence he is the paramatma or the supreme being the pure uh, the consciousness so the uh, the ultimate reality that is established in its pure nature so in that sense he is a role model for all aspiring mumukshus he himself is established in his swarupa shuddha chaitanya roopa by withdrawing himself from all the objects of senses that's why he is glorified as yogeshwara krishna bhagavan he is yogeshwara as he himself has withdrawn his objects and the mind from the attraction of the senses the third nama is durjayaha jetum na shakyate iti durjayaha the one who cannot be defeated durjaya means it is very difficult to destroy means which is impossible to uh, uh, defeat bhagavan narayana so in his various avataras rama avatara krishna avatara parashurama avatara we have seen that how he has vanquished conquered annihilated destroyed the negative demons and never once has he been conquered so he is a symbol of victory he is a symbol of glory he is the symbol of jaya and hence he is durjaya ha a fourth nama is duratikramah bhayahe tutvat asya ajnam suryadayo natikramanti iti duratikramah being the cause of fear surya and others do not violate his command so dur atikrama these are the two component dur atikrama atikrama means violation dur atikrama means the one whose commands cannot be violated because bhagavan is the bhaya hetu he is the conscience in every entity so everyone knows that there is a higher force watching him and so has to be steadfast in one's duties and responsibilities so even the great divinities like sun moon stars etc they do not violate the bhagavad agnya the even the earth so it does not violate the command of the bhagavan and hence they stay on their course they stay on their path in providing the necessary resources and support for this creation so hence the one whose agnya command cannot be violated he is duratikrama even in the vedas kathopanishad we see bhayadasya agnistapati bhayatapati surya ha the fire burns because of the fear of the paramatman the sun shines because or the sun scorches because of the fear of the paramatman agni surya all these are under the command of bhagavan and they do not venture to violate the commands of bhagavan narayana and even the same kathopanishad again, again says mahad bhayam vajramudyatam ya etad viduhu amrutaste bhavanti so one should know that there is a great cause of fear it is as if standing holding the vajrayudha in its hand and with that awareness that there is an almighty which is watching our actions one should perform one's duties and responsibilities so with that sense of uh, fear if one performs one's duties and responsibilities naturally being or contributing to the order in the society order in the cosmos order in the life of the humanity staying with one's rules and responsibility roles and responsibilities then finally following that rule or following that command one ultimately reaches amrutatva or immortality so this kind of a moral fear is very essential for refinement and transcendence in this life hence 
he is bhagavan is portrayed as an inviolable authority an authority whose commands cannot be violated so it has to be taken in that sense it is not that he will punish the idea is if everyone functions with that awareness that a great force is watching then everyone will stay on course with one's own roles and responsibilities thereby doing one's own bit in maintaining the order of the society so if everyone pitch in by following or maintaining the order of the entire society cosmos family etc which is called as dharma then not only does the world function in an orderly manner but it also allows those aspiring to rise higher to rise higher so that that is the sense that is intended to be conveyed through the nama duratikramaha the next nama is durlabhaha durlabhaja bhaktya labhyatva durlabhaha the one who is attained by rare pure devotion so durlabha means the one who is difficult to attain so by normal devotion it is difficult to attain so uh, bhagavan's abode is difficult to attain or the sayujya salokya sarupya or the realization of the paramatman is difficult to attain but if one is endowed with rare pure intense love and devotion to bhagavan then naturally innocent devotion to bhagavan with great faith if one is endowed with devotion to bhagavan like dhruva nachiketa prahlada if one is endowed with such innocent faith in bhagavan then naturally so the, but that is rare to come by because everyone is tied with very various needs and necessities of life and hence they seek the higher force to fulfill one need or the other which of course is also a, a laudable path but rare indeed is such a pure devotion where ahaituka bhakti means just love for divinity in an unconditional manner so that is the rarest devotion the one who is endowed with such rare pure unconditional love and devotion to lord just like uh, uh, andal meera and so many other poets and saints uh, tukaram kabir das they had unconditional love to the divinity and by that they have attained so that is the ideal or rare kind of devotion that we need to develop in ourselves so to attain the feet of the lord uh, he is certainly attainable labhya labhyatvat bhaktya labhyatvat he is certainly attained by devotion but how should that devotion be it should be durlabha means it is a rare uh, it should be rare what is the rarity in it it being unconditional it being pure having no material gains as the goal so that is durlabha meaning or the interpretation of the nama durlabha presented by acharya janmantara sahasreshu tapo jnana samadhi bhi naranam kshina papanam krishne bhakti prajayate so when will such pure devotion manifest everyone should try strive towards that but according to the vyasa vachana from agni purana that we see that it this unconditionality in love is a difficult quality especially unconditionality of love in the divinity that's a, a quality a rare quality which has to be which which everyone has to work towards but it will come by only slowly so one should have patience and perseverance so in due course this unconditionality can be developed the purana says after thousands of births such unconditional pure love will manifest in krishna in our hearts so which means uh, taken in the literal sense it will take thousands of birth but practically when we think about it so unconditionality in love cannot happen on the very first day but it will take time it has it is a rare quality to be systematically nurtured 
because atra brahma samashnute say the upanishads one can attain the brahman here and we see so many devotees like andal mira uh, and so many others attaining the feet of the lord raising to the very highest level of devotion hence such devotion is attainable here itself but one has to be persistence in polishing one's devotion towards the the glow or the splendor of unconditionality so it comes by time and persistence so that is indicated here by this vyasa vachana the same word or the same spirit is conveyed in bhagavad gita also bhaktya labhya tu ananya ya ananya bhakti incomparable bhakti unconditional love so with that devotion the feet of lord is attainable the grace of god is attainable hence bhagavan is durlabha the next nama is durga maha dukhena gamyate nyayate iti durga maha <clears throat> the one who is attained known with difficulty so here is durgama so these are the two components gama gachati gamyate <clears throat> nyayate so the one who is attained or the one who is realized or known dukkena with difficulty so it is the same sense which is conveyed through the previous nama so uh, dukkena gamyate so the feet of the lord is attained with great difficulty uh, because uh, or the realization of the pure conscious nature of bhagavan narayana the sachidananda swarupa satyam jnanam anantam brahma so that swarupa of bhagavan is difficult to be attained because it is a systematic process so shravanam mananam nididhyasanam so all those steps are there which are to be followed and this is the path of knowledge or again the nine fold uh, bhakti shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam pada sevanam archanam vandanam dasyam sakhyam atmanivedanam again the nine steps of devotion so all these are paths which are difficult which are not easy which are to be systematically uh, with great perseverance they have to be inculcated imbibed by each and every devotee if that is imbibed by uh, constant pursuit then he is attained it is not that he is not attainable but he is attained with great difficulty great perseverance we see how vishwamitra in ramayana attained the state of brahmarishi with so many trials and tribulations with so many uh, efforts towards the ultimate goal of course he attained the state of brahmarishi but undergoing all those tapas penance and also the processes of refinement hence bhagavan who is attained through such systematic effort he is described as durga maha the next nama is durgaha antaraya pratihataihi dukhena avapyata iti durgaha Though the one who is attained with difficulty by those who are afflicted by obstructions. Again, Durgamaha and Durgaha in the general sense mean the same. The one who is difficult to be attained. But the dimension is different. A different uh, concept or different idea is or uh, uh, another aspect or another facet of the same concept is presented here so of course the path is difficult so one has to systematically work as i as was mentioned earlier it is a path where shravana manana nididhyasana are to be done it is as if going against the flow of the mind and the senses and also the navavidha bhakti which was mentioned earlier so it's a difficult path to systematically cultivate those qualities and attain the level of unconditional love along with that so the very goal or the very virtues that are to be cultivated are a bit difficult along with that there will be a lot of obstructions hindrances antarayas roadblocks bottlenecks in this path 
so in uh, the yoga sutra we see what are the antarayas what are the bottlenecks or what are the roadblocks that will happen for a sadhaka in his path of yoga vyadhi styana samushaya pramada alasya avirati bhranti darshana alabdha bhumi katva anavasthi tatva so these nine antarayas are spoken vyadhi is illness the physical illness sthyana is a dullness samshaya doubt pramada is a failing to follow the steps properly alasya is a laziness procrastination avirati is a restlessness of the mind and senses a quality of uh, dominance of rajas bhranti darshana is confusion and then alabdha bhumikatva ability to scale higher uh, planes in one's own sadhana and anavasthitatva even if one moves higher the slipping down is more or inability to consolidate one's progress so these are the nine kinds of antarayas or the bottlenecks that a sadhaka will be facing towards the realization of the pure consciousness that is bhagavan narayana so those who are afflicted by these then of course it is very it's it, the the travel or the path becomes torturous and difficult and hence for such people bhagavan is durgaha means he is attained by great difficulty so such are the challenges in the path towards god realization towards the path of realizing bhagavan narayana so this nama in a way prepares the mind or makes the sadhaka aware of the risks and perils that lie ahead in the path but it also gives uh, an opportunity to make one's resolve firm and steely to progress uh, in that towards that higher goal come what may come so uh, that determination is uh, intended to be uh, instilled through this nama the next nama is duravasaha dukhena avasyate chitte yogi bihi samadha viti duravasaha the one who is retained in the mind uh, with great difficulty by the yogins during samadhi so dur avasa avasa means uh, reside so dur avasa the one who is very difficult to be housed in the mind so to fix the mind upon the bhagavan and then retain his form retain his swarupa in the mind it is a difficult task so especially in the state of samadhi by yogins yogins aspire to stay, uh, reach the state of samadhi where the mind is totally absorbed in the object of focus nothing else remains in the mind the mind is absorbed completely in the awareness of the object of focus the object of focus is a bhagavan narayana so the ability to get absorbed into that so that is samadhi and that again is a very difficult task samadhi is the eighth limb so yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana and finally the state of samadhi is attained so the yogins have to undergo all these steps and finally reach the state of samadhi where they will be able to fix in their minds the swarupa of bhagavan narayana and get absorbed into it so again be it the shravana manana nidhi dhyasana path or be it shravanam kirtanam vishnoho the path of bhakti or be it the yamaniyama path so whichever path be it jnana be it bhakti be it yoga so one has to undergo some refinement 
refinement to a great extent to realize the true nature of Bhagavan. So again, as mentioned earlier, all these namas, Durga Maha, Durga Ha, Duravasa, all these emphasize the resolve that each and every devotee should take, the strong determination, the role of the willpower that is emphasized through this, whatever be the difficulty, I am prepared to face that and then realize my own true nature, which is nothing but Bhagavan Narayana. The ninth Nama is Durariha, Durarinaha, Danavadayaha, Than Hanti, the Durariha, the worst enemies or the demons, etc. So the one who annihilates them. So Durari and Ha. So Durari means very difficult enemies. Hari is enemy, Dur means difficult. So the tough enemies, Ha the one who annihilates so of course danavas the rakshasas the, the asuras or duraris are challenging opponents at the same time our own raga dvesha abhinivesha they are the internal demons so there are demons outside the rakshasas outside there are demons within us and hence the grace if one attains the grace of bhagavan then one can overcome the torment that these two kinds of demons they subject us to so the one whose grace is needed to overcome the torment of these demons so the one who easily annihilates these so the one has to secure the uh, the grace of bhagavan by having uh, or by training the mind gradually, systematically towards developing the Durlabha Bhakti, which was mentioned earlier. Thus, with these nine Namas in verse 83, we have thus far seen 781 Namas. Om Tatsat Shri Krishna Arpanamastu